golden haze on the meadow. There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. The corn is as high as an elephant's eye. And it looks like it's climbing clear up to the sky. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a beautiful feeling. Everything's going my way. All the cattle are standing like statues. All the cattle are standing like statues. The breeze is so busy it don't miss a tree. And an old weeping willow is laughing at me. Oh, what a beautiful Something. 
What are they saying? That you're stuck on me? Uh-uh. Most of the talk is that you is stuck on me. I, I, I can't imagine how these ugly rumors start. <laughs> me neither. Why do they make up stories that link my name with yours? Why do the neighbors gossip all day behind their doors? I know a way to prove what they say is quite untrue. Here is the gist, a practical list of don'ts. side of the letters is each other. After much coaxing from a co-worker, George finally arranges to meet Amalia at a romantic cafe. As he prepares for the blind date, he is slightly nervous. I'm nervous and upset because this girl I've never met I get to meet tonight at eight. I'm taking her to dinner at this charming old cafe, but who can eat tonight at eight? It's early in the morning, and our date is not till eight o'clock tonight, and yet already I can see what a nightmare this whole day will be. I haven't slept a wink. I only think of our approaching tete-a-tete tonight at eight. I feel a combination of depression and elation. What a state to wait till late. Three more minutes, two more seconds, ten more hours to go. In spite of all I've written, she may not be very smitten, and my hopes perhaps may all collapse. Kaput! Tonight at eight. 
Wish I knew exactly how I'll act and what will happen when we die tonight at eight. I know I'll drop the silverware, but will I spill the water or the wine tonight at eight? Tonight I'll walk right up and sit right down beside the smartest girl in town, and then it's anybody's guess. More and more I'm breathing less and less. My imagination, I can hear our conversation taking shape tonight at eight. I'll sit here saying absolutely nothing, or I'll jabber like an ape tonight at eight. Three more minutes, two more seconds, ten more hours to go. I'll know when this is done, if something's ended or begun, and if it goes, I'll write, who knows, I might propose tonight at eight. Amalia has nerves and doubts of her own, but she arrives at the cafe as planned. When George arrives, he is shocked to see none other than Amalia sitting at the cafe table with the rose and book, the sign indicating that she is his dear friend. He tries to talk to her, but bungles everything and leaves after a heated argument, not revealing his identity as her dear friend. <laughs> It's almost closing time. So soon? But I'm waiting for someone. He'll have a rose in his lapel. To match the one in your book? How late is he? Over two hours late. <laughs> You're a very patient young lady. <laughs> I've waited all my life. What's two hours? Here. This one's on the house. For luck. This is a very nice cafe, you know. We try to preserve a romantic atmosphere. Charming, romantic, the perfect cafe. Then as if that isn't bad enough, a violin starts to
skips work the next day saying she is sick. George, feeling guilty, goes to check up on her. He brings her vanilla ice cream as a, as a peace offering and tells her that he saw an old, fat, bald man looking in the window outside the cafe. He tells her he is sure that that was her dear friend. Amalia sits down to write a letter to dear friend. <laughs> Until you knew Oh, George, I was so anxious I 
Street Scene is a musical set entirely on a New York City street curb and shows how quickly gossip travels from one neighbor to the next. Yes, yes, no. Rose is a young woman caught between her love for an older gentleman, promising her the world, and a newfound interest in Sam, a young scholar who seems to be the only person who disagrees with all the gossip <laughs> Thank you. 
nothing could be much worse than the way things are around here. Then why don't we do it? Why don't we go away? But, Sam, how could we do that? You wouldn't want to give up your law work and everything. I'd give up anything to be with you. Oh, it would be so nice to get away somewhere. When we were young, we had to be tied down, but it's different now. When birds get old enough, they spread their wings and fly. It's natural for a bird to want to try the sky. When two people are in love, their souls grow wings and stay. The nest is too small now. Come away now, come away, come away. We go away together, just we two, just you and I. We'll build a house to shelter us beneath. into a show-stopping beauty. Romance soon develops between Frank and Annie and is second only to their sense of competition. Our first song takes Annie and Frank through the ups and downs of being a performer in show business. The baker, the grocer, the clerk are secret. 
had my way with so many girls, and it was lots of fun. My system was to know many girls, t'would keep me safe from I can hold any note longer than you. 
you can't. Yes, I can. Anything you can say, I can say faster. I can say anything faster than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, no, you can't. Yes, no, you can't. Yes, Some people claim that you 